Django 5.1 has a new feature that's coming out that I'm really excited about. And while I know it's not gonna be here till August, 2024, I wanna talk about this new addition. So you know how in Django, anytime we wanna create a protected route, we typically need to add in some kind of login required decorator over a view. Or if you're using a class-based view, we use some kind of mix-in to make sure that only authenticated users can make that request. Well, in Django 5.1, we have a new middleware that we can add that makes all views protected by default. That means all views will now require an authenticated user to make the request. And if we wanna make sure that a view does not require authentication, we're gonna need to use the new login not required decorator, which we can add on top of that view. And this will make this a public endpoint. Now, I know some of you are not gonna like this feature because it requires a couple of extra steps, but when it does come out, I really do think you should try to make use of this. It really does ensure best practices and making sure that you don't accidentally expose any endpoints unless you specifically specify otherwise. And that way it makes our application a lot more secure by default. And it's really an easy habit to get into once you just do it a few times. So the way this is gonna work in Django 5.1 is we're now gonna have access to this login required middleware, which we can set within settings.py. And once we set this, all views are gonna be protected by default. So right now we just have this basic view, which returns a JSON response. And if I go to my browser, try to refresh that, What's happening here is we're now redirected to the login page here. So we don't have this page. That's why we're getting an error. But at this point, all views are protected. Now, if I wanna go ahead and make this a public URL here, what I can do is just go ahead and import the login not required decorator, go ahead and set this. And now if we go back to that home page, I should be able to access that endpoint because we have the login not required decorator. So after testing this out, I had a few questions for the core Django team and I went on Twitter to ask Adam Johnson, who's a core member of that team. And I wanted to address two main things. So first, will there be a mix in similar to the login not required decorator for class based views? That's definitely gonna be needed or something that can be compatible with that considering that a lot of us build with class based views. And two, how will this affect the Django REST framework? So DRF has its own decorators that we use for views. I wanna know how compatible this is gonna be considering that we're blocking all of those requests by default if we add this middleware in. So now to Adam's response to this. So to the first question regarding class-based views, Adam says the original PR offered a CBV mixin, but in the final review phase, I propose we remove it, chasing an undisclosed comments from months before, and then a link to that comment. I left a suggestion there and a simpler mixin implementation that you might try, we may add it later. So it sounds like Adam's saying, I'm gonna provide a solution, but we might look into this later, probably not gonna happen in the 5.1 release. So let's see what that solution is and what the issue was. Supporting class level attributes adds significant complexity to middleware implementation as it now has to look into two places on views for all attributes login required and login URL with redirect field name. This makes it harder to understand the middleware as well as any class-based views that might combine both options. Instead, I think we should support only view function level attributes. Class-based views can use the at method underscore decorator as covered in decorating classes in docs. So let's see what this would look like. So basically what he's saying, and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, what we could do is we can have a view like this and instead of having some kind of mix in to throw in right here, what you would do is go ahead and add the method decorator to the specific endpoint. So let's say you have a post, put, or get request. You can use the app method decorator and then throw in the login not required decorator. That's my assumption to what's happening here. And that would basically solve that first problem. So what I wanna do now is go ahead and test Adam's theory and see how this works. And there is a second solution right here. So there's two ways of doing the same thing. And we're just gonna go ahead and create a class-based view. I'm gonna replace my current view right now with a new one and see if this method decorator solves this issue. So in my code, I went ahead and made some imports and I created a class-based view right here. So. This class based view inherits from the view class. We simply make a get request and we're just returning a JSON response just like we did with the view above. So now we're gonna focus on this guy right here. So what I'm gonna do is comment this out and inside of my URL here, I need to update this to use the new view. So we'll just do test view. And if it's a class based view, we call the as view method. And I'm gonna save this, make sure that we're using the new view. And what, ha what should happen right now is we should get blocked because this route is protected. It tries to redirect us back to the login page. That's good. So, so far, so good. Now what we need to do is go ahead and bring in this method decorator right here. So we'll just bring in at method decorator. 
And in here, we're just going to follow these steps right now. So we're going to take this login required mixer mixin. Instead, it's going to be the login not required mixin. And then we're going to set the name to dispatch right now. So let's bring that in. And that's going to be login not required. And that should go ahead and make sure that everything works well for the get request. And now if we try that, we're going to go back to the homepage because that's where we set the URL and Adam solution works. So for now, I know there's going to be some changes before the one point or the 5.1 release actually comes out, but this looks like a good alternative solution. So let's go to the next question here. So that seems like it actually answers my question for DRF. So question number two, Adam says, DRF views will need to use the decorator under at method decorator, just like any other view. Maybe DRF will add some support, but this is still a separate project and needs some suggestions here. So if you wanna go ahead and make those suggestions, please do that. They're still in that development process. This is an open source project. It's really good to actually have the community input before they go ahead and complete that release. Now, this right now is technically possible through third-party packages. There is somebody here in the comment section who left an alternative solution that actually already provides this. So Matt Lehman provided this solution. It's a package called Django Denied, and it pretty much does the same thing. So let's take a look at this. So you install package or Django Denied, and then once you add the middleware, it looks like it pretty much does the same thing. We have an allow and authorize decorator that we can add. And it pretty much does the exact same thing as the login not required decorator where we can either allow or deny requests based on that. So also a good alternative solution. This update's not going to be too major in the scope of Django itself, but it is a nice feature and a good step in the right direction. So with that being said, Thanks for watching the video. I hope you learned something. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next video.